family in the car on the way home. So this is not my normal sweet hour of prayer where I am at my prayer bench. So forgive me, um, but this is live and you can't always be where you want to be um, when you're doing this. But that's okay. I don't think the Lord really cares. So I'm going to wait for some of y'all to get on. Hey, Pilar. Oh, this is cool. Now you can actually wave at people. That's awesome. Hi, Pat. Emma. Okay, so as y'all start coming on, um, I wanted to, I, a lot of you um, were at the prayer breakfast. If you go to Eastwood, a lot of you were at the prayer breakfast that we had on Saturday, last Saturday, and I just wanted to kind of speak on that a little bit tonight and kind of go over some of the things that we talked about because um, we had a wonderful time and um, the Lord was with us the entire time and the Spirit came down and it was just a really sweet moment for all of us. So um, I just kind of wanted to talk about it a little bit and it kind of ties in with what my mom talked about on Monday whenever she was talking about prayer because I spoke on um, being fervent in your prayer life and um, basically you know we just we talked about how if you want to be fervent in your prayer life if you want to have a good prayer life and a, a close relationship with the Lord you first have to get right with the Lord and get right with yourself and the enemy sometimes tries to deceive us and when he does you don't even know that he's deceiving you and until afterwards, until it's too late. So you have to make sure that, you know, you recognize the schemes of the enemy. And uh, we went through Ephesians 6 and it talked about the um, armor of God and we talked about being girded in truth. And if you want to have joy and if you want to claim victory over the enemy, you have to be a woman who is girded in truth. I'm not driving, by the way. My husband is driving. <laughs> so I'm over here in the passenger seat and my son's in the back seat. So you might hear him cry and I'm sorry. <laughs> He's tired. Um, but we talked about Ephesians 6 and how you need to be girded in truth and we have to be women of, women of truth and we have to make sure that we stand up, stand up for the Lord and make sure that we're not trying to fit in with the world and we stand out in truth but hey Carolyn we just talked about a little bit of all of that stuff and whenever you gird yourself in truth then you have victory over the enemy but I am going to make this one short tonight and I do want to get into the prayer because I think that is the absolute most important part so if y'all will come with me we are going to go ahead and start praying and y'all just pray for me because I feel weird praying with y'all in the car but anyway okay dear Lord I thank you so much for this day Lord thank you for giving us this day Lord and for giving us life Lord thank you for this creation and um, just thank you for blessing us Lord you didn't have to give us the lives that we live Lord and I'm undeserving but I am so thankful, Lord, for the life that you've given me. Lord, I pray um, first and foremost that you will cleanse me of any unrighteousness, cleanse me of any sin. Lord, I confess that I sin every single day. I've sinned multiple times today, Lord, and I pray that you will cleanse me of that. And I pray that you'll just give me a clear conscience and a clear heart before you, Lord, before I say anything else. And... Um, I'm thankful, Lord, that you have mercy on us and that you are a forgiving God and you're a loving God. And I pray, Lord, that you will just uh, guide this prayer, Lord, and, and touch the women who are with us tonight, Lord. And if there's anyone that's going through a hard time tonight, Lord, I pray that you will just put a special blessing on them, touch them tonight, Lord, and, and um, be with them, Lord. And I pray for um, all of the women in this group, Lord, I'm so thankful for each and every woman who is a part of GMR, Lord, and I pray that you will just lift them up and encourage them tonight, Lord Jesus. 
I know that a lot of us are walking through totally different roads and I pray that you will just um, be with each and every one of us in our own situations, Lord, and have your way and your will in all of our lives. Lord, I pray for GMR as a whole, Lord, that you will just bless the ministry, be with Michelle and my mom and Jenny, Lord, and Pilar, and all of us who um, have a, a bigger role, Lord, that are trying to lead this ministry, Lord. I pray that you will just um, guide us, guide our footsteps, Lord, and Michelle especially, Lord, I pray that you'll just lift her up every Monday night and um, just give her some peace, Lord, and give her some encouragement as well. I know that starting a ministry is hard and keeping up with a ministry is hard, Lord, because the enemy does not want us to do anything for your glory, Lord, but I pray that you'll just um, continue to encourage her, Lord, and lift her up. Um, Lord, I pray that um, you will just... Lord, I thank you for Garrett, <laughs> for him screaming, Lord, and I thank you for my family, and um, Lord, I pray that you'll just um, be with us, Lord Jesus, and help me to be the mother that I need to be for him, Lord, and I pray for his salvation, that um, he will come to know you, Lord, at a young age, and that he'll recognize that he's a sinner and he's lost and that he needs you, Lord, and I pray that um, you will bind the enemy because I know that the enemy tries to steer our feet in the wrong direction, Lord, and I know that he's going to try to tell him that he doesn't need you, Lord, but I pray that you'll just help him to realize that he's lost and that um, that you save him, Lord Jesus, and help Chad and I to be the parents that we need to be to guide him in the right direction. And I pray for all of the children, Lord, that are growing up in this world. This world is getting more wicked by the hour and I pray for all of the children Lord growing up that you will allow them to have parents who will stand up in truth for you Lord Jesus and teach them the ways that they need to be Lord teach them that they need you and um, just help the parents to guide them in the right direction because I think a lot of the things that are going on in the world are because people didn't have direction growing up and they didn't have parents and leaders to guide them and lead them towards you, Lord. So I pray that you'll just anoint us and, and equip us to help us to be parents who teach our children that they need you, Lord Jesus, and that you are the truth, you are the light, you are the way. Lord, I pray for this country today, Lord. Um, I pray for the wickedness that you will just bind Satan, Lord. And I pray that you'll just reign in this country, Lord. I pray that a revival breaks out and that it it just spreads nationwide. I pray that it spreads worldwide. And Lord, I pray that you will just um, help us to turn to, turn our eyes back to you, Lord. I pray that I pray for the Christians, Lord, that you'll help us to stand up in truth, Lord, that we won't be ashamed, Lord, that we won't try to be with the ways of the world, Lord, but we stand up in truth for you, Lord Jesus, and that we aren't cowards. And Lord, I pray that. Um, the revival happens tonight. <laughs> Lord, help us to be the ones that start it. Lord, help us to be the ones that stand up for you and start spreading the gospel, Lord Jesus. And if you call us to talk to someone, help us to not be shy and help us to not be um, ashamed, Lord. And uh, I pray for our leaders, Lord. I pray for the leaders of the churches, the leaders of this country, Lord, that you will put a hedge of protection around them, Lord, and guide them, guide their footsteps, guide their um, decisions, Lord, and I pray that everything that happens is according to your will, Lord, and I just, um, I thank you so much for, for everything that you are doing, Lord. You are doing a lot, and there is a lot going on that is good in this world, Lord. So help us to focus on the good and help us to not focus on the bad, Lord. And again, I just thank you so much for all that you're doing. In your name, amen. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> oh, man. Um, but like I said, tonight it was going to be quick and simple because I can't really focus. I don't have a lot of things that are coming to my mind right now to help me focus, but... Thank you so much for being on here with me, and I pray that y'all have a blessed night and a blessed rest of the week, and continue to pray, Lord, or pray, Lord, <laughs> continue to pray um, for your church, continue to pray for this country and for this ministry and for your families.
Love y'all. Bye.